Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to use the node auto completion in Dynamo. It's an experimental tool uh, and it recommends you nodes for your inputs. And um, today we're going to be in Revit 2022 Dynamo 2.10. I think this was released in 2.9. I recently had a chance to mess around with this tool uh, because um, we're moving things from 2020 to 2022, so I've been testing stuff in Dynamo. We're primarily in 20, or at least the bulk of our projects are in 2020. But um, I've been trying to get everything prepared in 2022, so I had a chance to mess around with it, and I like it a lot. I think it helps advanced users and also uh, brand new users to Dynamo. So I guess the first thing is, is you can either have a workspace open, or um, on this home screen, you can come up here and click on settings down here on experimental and then enable node autocomplete. So after that, and I think I turned that off on accident. Um, after that, after you have it enabled, um, you can go into your workspace and, and immediately start using it. Um, so I'm just gonna throw down a node real quick. And then um, what we have to do, and this doesn't work for our outputs. Let me get that off. Um, this doesn't work for outputs. So if we clicked on um, Alt and then select on that um, output, it will grab a wire. Um, so it works on inputs. So we place our node and then we click Alt and then left uh, mouse button click. And, and then this uh, list of recommended nodes pops up. And so for this first one, what I'm going to use is this uh, by center point um, radius. And then again, if we select on it, it'll recommend us number slider. I'm going to change that to 12. Down here, if we click on this, I'm going to do uh, arc by three points. And then for my first point, click on that. And so you can see, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty um, pretty decent. And I think for advanced users, it could speed things up if you're trying out new nodes that you don't know the inputs for. Or maybe, um, maybe you know, you do know the inputs, but it's faster to go that route rather than searching for the nodes. Um, the, you know, the recommendation, is, recommendations at least for stuff like this is pretty pretty good um, at the end of this I'll show you guys how um, kind of what the rec recommendations are for like custom nodes um, I still think they're useful especially for new users um, maybe advanced but like some of the inputs if it's not clear on like what the element is then its recommendations aren't the best I'm going to copy that slider. And then we'll add our last point. Oops. And you can see it does a good job when it adds the, uh, the points there. It moves things, or sorry, the nodes. Um, it moves things around. Um, so, you know, it's pretty helpful. Um, you know, I think it's it's decently developed for being in you know an experimental um, tool. And so there you go. Um, you know, that's the the recommendation um, or the node autocomplete. Um, and I, I think, you know, I think I like it. I, I know this would have been helpful uh, when I was first learning Dynamo. Um, just, you know, placing, you know, a, a node, something like this. It's like, I know I want to create this, but what do I do for the inputs? You know, what am I putting into this? Um, and then those recommendations, you know, at least could have gave me a list of nodes to start with. Because um, typically my workflow would be, you know, here's a node that I've never used before. Uh, here's a whole bunch of different nodes as the inputs and, you know, see what happens. Um, you know, doing that enough time, times you you eventually learn you know what these different nodes are and what the inputs uh what inputs they take but um you know i so i think that recommendation you know uh 
is pretty helpful. And then for advanced users, what they could do is, you know, they, they may know what goes into this, but maybe it's quicker by just clicking on this and selecting on what they need rather than searching for it. You know, um, that may be dependent on what you're doing. So lastly, um, I just want to show you guys this here. So this is a, a custom node. And then in this one, we've got a couple um, inputs or, you know, a few different inputs. And um, here you can see the layer name. It's a string, a string list. And then uh, we have a bool. Um, and then another string list and up here is just an element um, so if we click on this you can see it doesn't give the best um, the best uh, recommendations here and when I when I'm when I say element I mean in the um, in the description slide out you can see down at the left corner of that box or it says element and you can see string um, in the left corner left bottom corner um, of this one and bool for this one and so that's what I mean by that the input types um, so when we select on this it gives us kind of a whole bunch of random ones just because I think it just doesn't know what goes into it um, and it's it's generically giving us a whole bunch of different element types um, but for things like this layer where it's like it's a string um, I think these are kind of helpful. It does give you um, a string as one of the first inputs, but down here you can see there's a number slider and a boolean. Uh, but at least for the first one, it is a string. For this boolean input, it just recommends booleans. So that's kind of helpful. Uh, and then for this uh, this other string input, same thing. It recommends string and then number slider and bool down here at the bottom. So for custom nodes, I would say even those would be helpful, especially for users that don't understand like what strings are and what booleans are. Um, you know, by selecting on this, so you know they can connect this right up, um, and um, you know use that node. And then if they aren't familiar with a string input, then by selecting on that, you know. So I think that that's kind of helpful. Um, you know, even for me, if I needed a quick boolean, um, I could do alt select and then select on that. I don't know. I'm still feeling out the workflow and how I'm using it. But so far, I like it, at least for new nodes that I haven't used before, um, you know, within the Dynamo library or the default library. Uh, but anyways, you know, that's what I got. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you know comment below if you're using it and how you're using it and what you I guess you know what you like and dislike um, but anyways uh, thanks a lot for for watching and I'll see you in the next one